Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with Rimworld, where things are starting to get rather severe for us. This psychic ship is really starting to pump out the drones, and it is going to be seriously affecting all of our colonists now. If we look at this, we can see that it is starting to really mess with people's heads. I'm almost... Now, for us to attack right now where we don't have any defenses right down here, I feel like is probably not the smartest thing in the world for us to do we have decent numbers but we don't know how many there could be in this ship um i've seen a number of different variations with the crash ship where it can just be you know three it can sometimes be six eight there can be a lot crammed into this one tiny little space so honestly i feel like it'll be safer if we try to prepare as much as possible and to do that we are going to need people like elliot to uh get to work essentially um we are going to start really feeling the effects of this though, that's the only issue here, so I'm almost tempted for us to use this here, the Psychic Soothe, a one-use artifact which temporarily mood boosts everyone on the map. How long is that temporary boost? That's what I want to, that's what I want to know, like, is it like when we get those soothes usually where they can last a few days? If that's the case, that could be what we need to be able to get this done. I might wait until we are a bit closer to breaking um then i would look at doing it um i admire what you're doing oh okay so wildfire is working on that okay well can you then work on something else elliot is that possible let's just there we go we got him uh no materials apparently no materials great kevin is working on getting more materials for us though and it looks like there are some more tucked away back here but that might be <laughs> That might be it. That might be the, the limit of what we've got. Um, surely there are some more materials out there then. There we go. I knew there were. You'll be fine. But Wildfire is going to be finishing that off. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about Wildfire doing this, honestly. Um, just because she does have a history of failing um, crafting attempts. Yeah. Not sure about this. Okay, yeah, maybe it is better that someone else finishes this off. Um, so when Elliot comes back with that steel there, let's see. Uh, let's get you to finish that, if you can. No, Wildfire is continuing work on it. Oh, I just need some components. Oh, he's taken over. Good, good, good. Okay, all right. Critical, who is it? Kevin Red. Okay, yeah, we need to do something about that. All right, that is now up and running, which is good. That is one thing that we've got going. Um, do we have a power cable underneath of that, though? That's the question. No, we don't. Let's go ahead and get that done quickly, if possible. And where is this? Um, where Where is this currently? It's down here. Okay, so we need someone to go ahead and activate this. Who is nearby at the moment? Spectra, it is going to be you, my friend. Let's go ahead and get you to activate that and hope for the best. That's why we got this thing. So let's hope that is able to counteract a little bit here. If we jump into needs, um, do we see Psychic Soothe? No. We've just got that right now. Um... didn't seem to do anything at all maybe it doesn't work when there's a psychic drone going on which would be strange because i imagine that's the time that you'd want to use it uh, yeah not so happy about that what i'm afraid of here is that we're going to end up going into battle with us not being in the best headspace and there really isn't anything that we can do to stop that right now uh we're we're very close to having enough to have those two turrets up and running just need a little bit more steel and you know what i think i think we do have enough steel up there so i think come tomorrow morning we should be able to do this wildfire is taking a bath elliot as well i think elliot's gonna be going to sleep though yeah all right looks like that's been fully smoothed out so dala should be pretty happy with her bedroom now impressive yeah yeah okay good cabin fever mild why have you been inside for days are you restricted nope we'll go outside why would she not do that when she's on her break? Hmm. I'm not sure why. I do not know. 
Well, we certainly have some more meals coming in though, so that's good at the very least. Thank you, Wildfire. Good hauling. Want to see these turrets up and running though? Um, so I think Elliot would have finished that off, so I should be able to go reconnect. There we go. Turn it off. Great. Okay, you get that stuff hauled. Like your work. You are going to go and haul some steel as well. Fantastic. So, looks like we are probably going to be able to get this done. Fingers crossed. Yeah, you're just grabbing it from there. Okay. Grab what you can. And go back. We need these turrets up and running yesterday. All right, thank you, Ajax. Oh, Ajax is actually doing uh, doing a little bit of crafting there. Nice, getting some blocks made for us. Fantastic. Like it. And Dala is making more clothes for us. Doing a great job over there. She seems to be pretty happy with that. Good job. And Spectra is doing some training as well. Nice. Trained hall. fan freaking tastic Or, well, part of it. And Elliot is going to be getting some more steel for that we are so close to getting them finished off now nice we actually did get all those trees planted I believe that's ajax is doing red what are you doing you're going back to play some chess and you bear are getting some more steel for us nice well that's all the steel from there and there is thankfully some down here oh escape pod um okay potentially useful let's see who do we have here and they're really close to base. Ramon. Okay. A blacksmith. A male space refugee. No connection to us at all. Um, really, really good at medicine. Decent melee. Um, great at crafting. Artistic. Is lazy. Has a green thumb though. So should be good when it comes to growing. Um, incapable of intellectual tasks. That's fine. I think we'd be wanting to take... Um, to to be taking ramen on so let's go ahead and um make this now for prisoners because that's where we're going to want to keep them and let's go pick them up so elliot you go ahead and capture ramon because we want to uh we want him to get him to join us that's the plan at least what uh what condition is he in health wise old gunshot wound i see all right let's do it Hmm. Hauling that steel slag. Look at them go. Good doggos. Okay. Wow, we still don't have enough? We've got to be getting close, surely. Are we going to have enough over there? Yeah, definitely. Definitely enough there. Good. Okay, all right. Now that we got Ramon inside here, wicked here, let's go and have a look. Prisoner, we want to go, um, let's see. We'll just go regular for now. And we will go chat and recruit. Um, actually, how bad is it? Yeah, we don't want to use our herbal medicine on that. It's fine. I think Elliot will be able to go and tend to him. And uh, make sure that he's going to be okay. Let's have a look. How are you doing? Okay. Not bad. We're building a rapport here. Recruit chance, 4.1% fail. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get better. We just need to get you healed up first. Recruitment pitch and rejected the offer. We'll be able to build up a rapport. Slowly but surely. Um, I want to see these turrets built. I want to see them built ASAP. I like that Elliot is doing some work over there. Alright, Bear. Have you got enough? Come on. It's got to be close, right? Yep, components. That's a good sign. Let's see. Uh, it's all there. Okay, so we're going to get Elliot, because Elliot is a really decent constructor. We're going to get him to finish this off now. And... Bam! Nice. Good work. And we'll get you to prioritize finishing that off for us as well. So we actually do need to make sure that this can connect to some... Oh, it's connecting to the one beneath it. Perfect. Okay, good. Still works. Okay. Well, if we can get this one up and running here, and get these, sand, these sandbags built, then I... I'll be feeling like semi confident enough to attempt <laughs> attempt to wake that thing up because we need it gone. We really do. Um, but we need to kill its inhabitants first. Um, hey, chance it could just be empty. I'd be uh, <laughs> I'd be very happy if that's the case. 
somehow I don't think that it is but um, if it is I'll welcome it I'll be damn happy I will not be complaining You're taking a while there Elliot there we go even though he's the fastest it still takes him a little while to get around oh so ramen's up and running nice all right more steel thought you had enough there bud no it's components that you need oh you're getting them from up there all oh, right that's that's fine um okay so still healing still healing okay um i like that you're doing that but we also need to uh, clean this up as well so you can't do it because you can't clean but spectra let's get that bedpan cleaned uh, all the bedpans are outside i think i just need to have them clean because they're not degrading um at least they don't seem to be maybe they are oh they do deteriorate because they're being unroofed so they're kind of they're kind of slowly disappearing it's pretty unsightly though <laughs> Just having all of that out there. Alright, Ajax, how are you doing? How is your how is your communication skills? You're actually really good. You're a VR designer. 4.2% ch chance. And we uh, we do seem to be keeping the human meat stocked up here, and the dogs still seem to be enjoying it quite a bit, so yeah, that's good. Let's just check on those needs. Yeah, the psychic drone isn't gonna make that easy as well. That's yeah. Hmm. That is something for us to think about. How are we doing? This isn't this isn't done yet. Okay, right, we've got these components coming. He's getting here. Alright, looks like we are gonna have this done tonight. Thank you very much, Elliot. You can now go rest, my friend. You've deserved it. Uh we're gonna unforbid those because I want them to get uh, placed down. Hoping that wildfire will be able to do that for us. There we go. Nice. Hauling that steel. And is that the last of it up there? Yeah, it is. It really is. So I'm going to leave the game on pause while Wildfire is making her way up there. And I'm just going to double check to see that we haven't missed any. We do have a sandstone wall there that we can dig through. Just trying to investigate as thoroughly as I can. Yeah, we might have to start digging into our mountain see what we can find so we've got gold up there and we've got silver over here and that's all that yeah i think that's it that's all that we have um i'm i'm guessing there'd be a decent amount in here as well i don't know if there is any um if any particular rock has more of a chance of having it in like slate versus marble but um yeah we might just have to start digging through to see if we can find any and i won't just start doing like mining shafts i think we will dig out proper corridors just to see um and you know what let's go ahead and get the rest of this mining organized over here so I believe we were doing it like that and should be semi like that i believe yes that looks kind of right i think that will work and that'll give us some more stockpile space as well and that is actually included in the orbital trade beacon down there good for us although how much of our oh no, it looks like most of them have been transferred out of there and i just saw another one getting transferred then so the dogs are uh, they are doing their work. They do like to consume our meals occasionally, though, so... Yes, I'm not super happy. Alright, Wildfire, you finally got that steel down. Let's see how much... Yeah, unfortunately, she can't bring too much down with her. Playing horseshoes. Alright, enjoy. Ah, oh, they're just having a bit of a hangout. Yeah, I think, I think we will get a... We will get a television. Eventually. But, uh, yeah not going to be using that for the time being thank you kevin good job he <laughs> just whacked a few times and then decided i've done enough today that's all i'm going to do oh hell yes ramon has joined us well isn't that awesome now this is still early on so i don't know are we going to wait a whole week before i rename ramon um I think, we'll, I think we'll leave him as Ramon for now, but this will be Ramon's episode. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to be recording an, ep an episode after this one, but uh, the one after that, so at the start of next week, you are going to see 
a new episode and if Ramon is still alive at that point then we will have a new name for Ramon uh, but with a 5.1% chance Ajax that is freaking awesome good job my friend good job so let's actually just make this back into a red a normal kind of medical room and uh, well actually we'll let him get some clothes on first but we do want to make sure that he goes and uh, rests after getting those clothes on but uh, Ramon, I'm looking forward to seeing how you do. And Sangria has given birth, so we have some more puppies. Hot damn. Well, okay. All right, uh, you go consume that meal, but I do think we want to have you resting still, buddy. So as soon as you're done, I would like to see you go rest. There you go. Yeah, you go rest. Uh, let's go ahead and, first of all, restrict. We need to make sure that we are restricting. No drugs. No drugs. There we go now work put firefighting on one patient on one doctoring he's um kind of got some skills in it so we'll put him on four uh bed rest one hauling plus definitely one um could get him a little bit involved in cleaning and um and hauling uh okay when it comes to art tailoring is great and smithing is great so i think we, we might end up because he's a blacksmith we might end up using him as a blacksmith once we actually have that stuff done so i think uh, i do need to make sure that there is someone that's going to be researching at all times i like what ajax is doing at the moment i'm tempted to take tifa away or typha rather away from uh, the kitchen for a little bit um either that or we get spectra back down there as well hmm I mean, she is without a doubt the best. 17, that's freaking insane. Bayer's is pretty good as well. Maybe it would be better if we got Bayer in there, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're going to get Bayer in there. That is what we're going to do. You're going to be researching for us, my friend. Just because um, Tifa is also really good. Or Typha, rather, not Tifa. Not playing Final Fantasy. And hey, it's just, she's she's so much faster in there. And we need to have someone that's really decent when it comes to cooking. So she's going to be able to chip away at that. And Bay will be just as fast. You know, he's going to do a pretty good job over there. You'll be fine, Ramon. In no time at all, you'll be back up on your feet. Um, okay, we're looking okay over here. We're actually, I don't know if the, that Psychic Soothe has helped us out enough. I feel like it might have. Although, that's getting worse. Mm, that is definitely getting worse. And we have a bulk goods trader passing by. Oh, trading ship. Okay. Bulk goods. Bulk goods. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go expand the stockpile out a little bit more again. And we'll go and have a chat with them. So, Elliot, you jump on and have a call. All right. Where is he? He's probably quite far away. I apologize for interrupting your busy day, my friend. Okay. All right. So, we can sell puppies again, it would seem. And... Um, yeah, there's a whole heap of things. We can buy a decent amount of food. We're actually doing okay in the food department at the moment, so we probably don't need to worry about that. Components, though, always interesting. Always interested in buying them. How much would that cost us all up? 500. Um, okay. I mean, it's it's a bit more than we'd probably want to be playing most of the time, but um, we are going to be selling off a few things here as well. Um, smoke leaf joints, excellent. We can sell off a whole heap of them. They've got quite a bit Um on them so i'm hoping to be able to sell some sell some goods here um cycloid leaves um okay we can buy them we can't sell ours because they're not up there yet which is unfortunate but uh not much we can do about that but hey look at that we have all this stuff here that we can finally start to sell off all these dead man's clothes that we are really don't have any use of whatsoever even though they're actually pretty good quality and these awful quality things or the things that are rather below 50 percent we're going to be selling as well because they're uh, pretty much useless okay uh walk fur coat we'll sell that as well let's see goat's hide parker that's a new one that we've just made and we've got some more dead stuff so we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of that um actually that cloth toque is okay but that one is not psychic foil helmet will sell as well okay we can sell that small sculpture you know what we probably will we'll make a little bit of a uh, little bit of dosh that way um but there isn't really much else that we can sell do we want to sell some more puppies probably just to keep us under control a little bit here um 
yeah. Hmm, what do we want to do there? So we've got Blas, we've got Emma, and we've got Tycho. Um, I think we might just want to get rid of one here. Why is Blas worth more? He might be slightly older, even though he is one. Not sure. Hmm. I think we might sell off Blast here. Because we've still got two males. Actually, I mean, Count is the only adult male. So Count must be the father of all of these uh, puppies so far. So maybe it would be, would be good if we had one other in Blas. So it's Sangria that's been having all these puppies. Hmm. No, you know what? We're going to keep them for now. I think because we, we are investing in them, trade what? Well, in their training. So I think we are going to keep them. Um, do we want to buy any Nitroamine right now? Maybe. Hmm. I think we are. How much is it going to cost us to get it? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. So I don't know if we're in a position right now where we want to trade for it. Um, why do we have 3,000 silver up there but only 2,000 here? So we've got another 1,000 silver somewhere apparently. So maybe I am okay with doing that. Okay, let's do it. I want to see if that goes down. It does. We've got other silver elsewhere. So apparently it wasn't, it wasn't actually accounting for all of the silver that we had. So, hmm interesting uh let's go ahead and make sure that they do get hauled inside though because uh we do not want them sitting out there and i very much want these to get finished off if possible we haven't run into any more steel in here so that's unfortunate but it's not the end of the world all right thank you okay how are we doing in here uh, they're growing but they're growing slowly getting there How's everything outside doing? Same same kind of story. They're growing, they're slowly getting there. I don't know if we're going to get enough out of the season to be able to actually get anything from them. Um, once I can see the temperature is starting to drop though, I will just chuck the roof on and we'll have to run some um, piping up here. Um, something that we can actually do now is, is look at doing that. Um, we are going to need more wood to be able to do that though because I'm going to use wood instead of metal obviously to be able to do that. Um, how are those... Uh, where are they even? Or if we we haven't surely we haven't killed them all they must be roaming around here eating everything because we don't have a lot of trees at the moment um no don't see any are they leaving maybe you're right on the edge i do not know all right, well, we'll continue about our day for now. I do want to see these finished, though, and I haven't seen them done yet. Why? Oh, why? We might actually not have enough um, steel to be able to do it. No, we have enough steel. Why, why are we not finishing them off? Should be a pretty easy task for us to do. Apparently, Elliot's working on those as well. All right, you're moving stuff around there. That's good. Well, we're kind of going through another day before, you know, this attack. I'm... Uh, yeah, I, I'll be honest, I'm a bit nervous about this. <laughs> Every time we come up against um, mechanoids, because it's going to be mechanoids, um, I, uh, yeah, pretty nervous, I'll be honest. How is that research going? We're getting there. Ajax, good job with the blocks. Okay, it looks like we've got a decent amount done here. I'd like to see this done as well though, Elliot. Resting, fine. Rest away. Okay, mad animal. It is a boar. Okay. And it's going after wildfire. That's not cool. Shoot. Okay, is anybody nearby? Crap. Okay, not good, not good. Um, so let's see. Elliot is probably gonna be able to get up there the fastest, but he's not that that rifle isn't amazingly good. Um, okay, so wildfire, how can we kind of dodge and weave this sucker? We can't really. I think the best thing that we can try and do is just start, get get off the water as fast as possible. And just start to try and double back. Get back to home. 
Because it does seem to be kind of gaining on her. Oh no, why would you go back that way? Why would you do that? Why? Why? I don't know what's going on. Why can't she walk there? Fleeing. Okay. Okay. I screwed that up. What? The, mm, that's so frustrating. Why did she start to want to run back that way? I swear that we still had her drafted. Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh, come on. Elliot, are you going to get up there? Wildfire, I'm so sorry. Come on, no. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing it's the structure that's doing it. Oh, shit. At least it's not... At least it's not trying to kill her. So, I think we're okay in that regard. Okay, come on, Elias. Come on, make the shot. Or don't. You know, whichever you want to do. Come on. <sighs> okay. Go ahead and rescue Wildfire. It's okay, we're coming, we're coming. You're alright, you're alright. She's in pain. She's in pain. What did he do? Can we, can we not click on her picture anymore? Is that not a thing that we can do? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> nope. It is not something we can do. Um, so I can't see what's wrong with her at all. So, that's okay. I guess we'll just guess. Uh, no, we'll get her back and we'll see what's going on. Um, so, yeah. Ramon is going to be sleeping in there for the time being, but we are going to have to work out a bed for, her, for him eventually. Um, yeah, so no new wounds there. But... I do want to make sure that she has proper treatment here. Um, or not, Elliot, you could just let her bleed to death. It's cool. There we go. Alright. Oh god, that drone. Alright. Alright. Mmm. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> not great. Not great. That is not good. Um, okay, all right. So, unfortunately, Elliot is um, going to be really sleepy coming into this fight. Oh, and a ref... Oh, God damn it. A refugee now? I'd half be tempted. Honestly, I'd half be tempted to say yes. Get the shadow alligators to attack and activate the mechanoids at the same time. Because the mechanoids should then attack them. It would be a hell of a mess. And it'd probably be Elliot that would have to send out there to do it. Oh, uh, it'd be super suicidal. It could work, though. It all depends on whether or not they will see them as an enemy. I think they should, because the Mechanoids, they don't have any allegiances. They'll want to attack Elliot, for sure, because he'll be the one that actually hits them. But I, I hope that he would be fast enough that he'd be able to get the shot off as soon as they activate, run back. Could work. It could work. But then, also, we have to take into account that they might not arrive at the same time, but eventually they're both going to be coming for the same target, right? I think we're going to do it. We're going to offer this Izzy safety. I don't even know if you're worth it. Incapable of done labor? That's not so great. Apocalypse survivor. Okay. Passionate about growing? We'll make use of that. We'll make use of that. But the shooting, having another soldier could be good. Our numbers up here are actually getting pretty big. So, obviously, we have another person here as well. We have no idea whether any of these people are going to survive yet. But um, this is also an Izzy episode. So, <laughs> we'll be getting names for both. We'll be getting names for both. But, um, guys and gals, this is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. I'm sorry, it's a cliffhanger. We have a hell of a uh, final episode of the week coming up. Um, yeah. Oh, God. It is going to be... It is going to be brutal. Um, I might get severely punished for um, attempting to do both of these at the same time, 
But we'll find out whether or not it is a massive mistake in the next episode. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>